What scientists discovered between Mars and Jupiter could hit Earth one day. Uh, this is our solar system, as you can see. The sun is on the left, and it's followed by our planets, Mercury, Venus, and Earth is the third. Then you have Mars, and you have in the middle, between Mars and Jupiter, this asteroid belt. And after Jupiter, you have Saturn, Venus, and Pluto, Neptune and Pluto. Jupiter, Saturn, Venus, Neptune, and Pluto. And beyond Pluto, we have what we have as the Kuiper Belt objects. Now, as far as asteroids, the asteroid belts, asteroids are space rocks that have not formed into planets. And recently, scientists believe that a group of asteroids that were discovered between, in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter are the remains of a hidden planet. And they say it was either destroyed millions of years ago or it was uh, something that failed to ever properly form into a planet. And this was revealed during a, re a recent radio broadcast. This is on Express UK by Callum Hoare. The asteroids, which usually sit in the inner solar system, uh, tend to orbit the sun, but they do not resemble planets. There are millions of these rocks forming, flying around space, and their collisions, known as impact events, played a significant role in shaping many planets. We have evidence of that a tremendous amount of impacts on the moon and also on Earth but they may also have helped create planets as well, according to leading scientists. One of them being the leading astronomer at the University of Cambridge, Carolyn Crawford, explains how our solar system is virtually littered with space rocks. And during an asteroid episode of BBC Radio 4, she said, Ceres is the largest asteroid, which is now uh, classified as a dwarf planet, and that's just over 900 kilometers wide. She says some of the next big ones are about 500 kilometers across, and as you go down in size you get more and more of these, which are asteroids, and current estimates are that there are a couple of millions of them. They're just lumps of rock and stone that formed within the inner solar system, and they were left over from the formation of the planets and fragments and they did not form a planet. Now she detailed how some of these space rocks between Mars and Jupiter, as we can see, could be evidence of a former planet. Astronomers were originally looking for a hidden planet there. And when they didn't find anything between Mars and Jupiter, they instead found small chunks of rock. And they thought perhaps a planet had been there and exploded, and these were the remnants of that exploded planet. But now she thinks it did not happen that way, and it's actually just lumps of rock that did not manage to form a planet because of their position there. The pull from Jupiter, the pull from the Sun, just uh, was not enough to have them go one way or the other and form a planet. The gravitational pull between Jupiter and the Sun was subject to conflicting gravitations and it forced the thing apart. Now what was left behind was thousands of bits of rocks, or as we call them, asteroids. And uh, she went on to explain uh, that uh, they, they, she was absolutely certain that one of these would, of course, one day smash into Earth, similar to what happened in the past, and perhaps one of these wiped out the dinosaurs. So John Zarnecki said, that it's absolutely certain that we will be hit again. The question is, when will it be? And uh, no one has any predictions. It could be in five years, it could be 5,000 or 5 million. Now, uh, Zarnecki and his group won the NASA Group Achievement Award for Hugen Surface Science Package in 2007. And another American geophysicist came up with a genius plan to save the world back in 2009. Jay Meloche, he says that um, in space we would use a mirror like a magnifying glass. And as we hit the asteroid, we begin to vaporize material and it vaporizes. 
and the asteroid gets pushed the other way. What we would do with the real asteroid is focus some light on it until the rock vaporizes. All we need to do is change the velocity of the asteroid by one centimeter a second. At that tiny nudge over the year, we'll push it off a collision course and save Earth. Okay, that's assuming that the metal of the asteroid is soft enough to be vaporized, and an asteroid is not a comet. A comet is, is what is made up of ice, perhaps um, reflecting some light on it or flashing a laser, blasting a laser ray on it could vaporize the ice, but I don't know if it would vaporize uh, strong metals that are found in um, meteors and asteroids. Uh, so it's still a question. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.